Thank you, Ms. Montorosa. Next speaker, please. Please introduce yourself. Welcome. Hi there, my name is Riddhi Patel. I'm here to speak in support of the City Council introducing a ceasefire resolution, specifically the one um, United Liberation Front um, has drafted. I don't have faith that you'll do this. You guys are all horrible human beings and Jesus probably would have killed you himself. And the thing is though, it's very clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years, that none of you care because you, you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care about the oppression occurring here. That's why 40% of current workers don't earn a living wage. That's why the median wage is $30,000. That's why 2,300 people have been evicted in the last year alone because of your failures. That's why the carpenters here were speaking behind me when Bob Smith himself and his son's stupid real estate company, Sage Equities, has been fined $1.3 million by the California Labor Commission for stealing wages from the Carpenters Union. It's why you won't give leadership counsel right to counsel, which Bakersfield residents deserve, and you won't even fund it properly. You'll give it scraps while you give the police, literally a murderer, millions of dollars, while residents who've been evicted that are literally here telling you they've been evicted, you can't give them money to even get the bare minimum of right to counsel. And when the city budget comes up this summer, I know that you guys will vote to increase police funding. And I understand that you guys are all horrible people, but the thing is, 2,300 people being evicted in the last year, those are votes. And you guys, those are votes to win here in Bakersfield. And while you, you guys parade Gandhi around as a Hindu holiday called Chaitra Navratri it starts off this week, I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the Global South practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppressors. And I hope one day somebody brings the guillotine and kills all of you motherfuckers. Thank you, and with that, that is the end of the public comment period for this section. Madam Clerk, do we have any public speakers regarding items listed on the agenda? Mayor Go, we have received six speaker cards regarding items listed on tonight's agenda. The first three public speakers are Ashley Vegas regarding item 7D1, uh, Martin regarding item 7D1, and Yas regarding item 7D1. We're now moving to the public statements listed on the agenda. Yeah. Um, before we move to this, I'm sorry, I missed your I request just, to speak. I just wanted to clarify. I don't, I don't know where that information came from, but it is false. Thank you. Thank you. As we move to the public... Next speaker, please. Rudy Patel, followed by Lance. Welcome, please introduce yourself, and would you lower the mic, please? My name's Rudy, I'm here to speak on agenda item 7D1, um, but also addressing Councilman Smith's comments that he doesn't know what he's talking about with the California Labor Commission, a press release from the State of California Department of Industrial Relations. The Labor Commissioner's Office collected 1.3 million in wages and penalties resulting from a prevailing wage assessment against Bakersfield-based subcontractor Grant Construction employed by Sage, Smith Equi or Sage Equities. The wages collected will compensate 27 workers for unpaid prevailing wages while working on a farm worker housing construction project Patel, in the city of Wasco in Kern Ms. County. Patel, this portion is reserved If he gets to respond, I do too, Karen. Then following item Ms. 71. Patel, go ahead with 71. The increased criminalization for no need other than you don't like when people come and hold you guys accountable for introducing ceasefire resolutions because the only escalation in violence has been by you all. And so there's no need to continue. In the last five years I've attended city council meetings, there's never been metal detectors, there's never been more cops. The only reason you're doing it is because people actually don't care if you guys don't like them and they're actually resisting so you want to criminalize them. And then on top of it all, my councilman, Bruce Freeman, still will continue oppression here locally when he actually supports this and most likely will support voting for the resolution. And there's what 
I need the community members behind me to understand is that these electeds don't really care about you. The only thing you're gonna do, even if you vote them out of office, Munpreet sold her soul after leaving Jakar Movement as their development director, now working for a wonderful company as farm workers are unionizing with Wonderful and they still won't let them unionize. So she sold her goddamn soul. So regardless of whether you elect people into office, they'll backstab you, they'll let you die. And for that reason, you guys wanna criminalize us with metal detectors We'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. Next speaker, please. Lance, followed by Kev, followed by Valeria. Ms. Patel, Ms. Patel, that was a threat, what you said at the end, and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that. We just wait until the doors close. Welcome, please introduce yourself. Hi, um, my name's Lance Mack and I'm here to, tonight to talk about um, these proposed security